you do the Pebbles Flintstone kind of thing like that for your whole cosplay thing with the like it's a whatever they do the tiers or something there's something like you can buy a more expensive set so you do it with the feet like mm, it, you can charge yeah, more you than go. your regular stuff yeah I'll be like look at my caveman feet I'm Pebbles right and then maybe I could get next to do Bam Bam we could go do a thing uh, Chris in the chat saying Nick has two pokeballs <laughs> I'm always catching what he's. Never mind. <laughs> Throwing. That's, uh, Bartholomew feet are pretty repellent. They are. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. I have almost Those like an, an anti foot fetish to the point that, like, if I could get like a Gallagher mallet, and if someone's just like somebody's there with their feet, and you could just slam it with the mallet, and just be like, stop doing this ever. Would Would you give like? Can you give your lady foot rubs? <laughs> you really do that was such like a no nope. <laughs> no <laughs> socks on even no don't want don't touch me so you like really hate feet yeah i hate I feet don't... i hate looking at feet like i can i can obviously you can tell if like if, if somebody has a a woman has a pretty foot right but it's not that common and it's disgusting especially it's not that common. I, I posted it does a, happen, but. I posted a photo a couple weeks ago on my Instagram if you want to go check it out a uh, lady was in the seats next to me on the train just t- took her shoes off and had her feet up on the chair and it's shit like that oh, that I, hate. I okay I was about to go look I remember that yeah it's like uh, she just has her feet up on this chair where other people sit I've seen other people do this guys do it too especially on the airline if you're flying somewhere they just take off their uh, their flip flops or, or even their shoes like they take their socks off at, when they come out of their shoes and they have their feet out it's like this isn't that's, your fucking living room no that's gross I get that that's disgusting don't take your shoes off and don't put your feet up in public places right. you're just an asshole if you do that especially if you have gross smelly feet which I've seen that before I've seen people oh this happened to Nick actually when I went to my uh, boob consultation when I went to go do that and it came with me and he was sitting in the waiting room and when I was in there doing it this couple came in and it was the guy they sat down they were wearing masks they sat down the guy was wearing slippers you guys call them flip flops and I won't do it the guy was wearing slippers some people call them slides that's even worse yeah I agree Ah, with you no So he's wearing slippers and he takes the slippers off and puts his feet up on the table in front of Nick. And Nick, didn't you say he had like crusty feet too? Yeah, like disgusting feet. So he puts his feet up and then when they get up to leave, he just leaves his mask. I actually saw it when I came out. Him and his girlfriend leave their mask like crumpled on the couch. Some people are just garbage people. And you notice it. You watch like we we have sort of a social contract, right? Like we all know that there's things that you just don't do in public because it affects other human beings. Right. We're all trying to live on this planet together. And there's too goddamn many of us. Right. And there are some people that I just I don't know if they weren't raised right or what is wrong with them, but they don't adhere to the social contracts and they're just garbage, just garbage humans. And uh that's up there with garbage people that take their shoes off and put their feet up in public places. No, I can't. Uh, I, I can't be a part of any of that stuff. Now, no. look, I understand that if you you know you're with your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, and they kind of rub up on you, and so it's not a hundred percent of avoidable. Well, no. You but when you're on the couch the and then they put their feet up on you, I just go. Without even looking, one continuous motion of swoop of the arm, and they go flying off the couch. Maybe they also. Have you ever had a also... girlfriend get pissed at you? Um, I've had that? I've had a couple with like just rub. No, well, my feet are pretty. And I go. I don't care if your feet are pretty. I don't want to touch them. I don't like and if... feet. I oh I dead legged one. Um, she put she thought she was being funny. We were sitting on the couch and she put her uh, foot on my face. With a sock and everything, but I'm sitting there and all of a sudden okay, with it was sock, up like this. I turned around, held, I grabbed her, like, if, say this was her foot, right? I grabbed her ankle like this and I put the one knuckle out and then behind, like, the back part of the leg. So below the knee, I guess, the behind the thigh. The calf? No, no, the calf's up here because I'm holding her ankle up here, right? 
Oh, okay. So her foot's here. She's laying down, but her foot's up here. Her calf's here. Knee, and then the back part of the thigh. Oh, I put, oh. I put my knuckle like this. So I had that and went, boom, right in the back part of her thigh. And she went, ah, like that. I go, don't you ever put your feet in my face. And she's I like, never. she's like, she goes, seriously, I'm just kidding with you. I'm like, don't ever do that again. I've never heard someone, you know what? You rival Nick with with your foot phobia. You have a foot phobia. You do. You have the It's an anti foot, foot fetish. fetish. No, it's not an anti foot fetish. It's a foot phobia. You're like to the point where if you have feet on or near you, you freak out. That cuz that's a that's a pretty strong reaction. I just don't like I don't want to be touched by people's feet. I don't <laughs> want to see people's feet. I never walk around barefoot unless I have to. You know, like there's times uh, like in the middle of the night because I can't see for someone who doesn't like feet. I can't wear socks to bed like I just don't. So if I get up in the middle of the night or in the morning, you walk to the bathroom, whatever, that's fine. But the second I get changed, it sucks all day. I don't walk around. I don't walk around outside if I don't have to. I don't. It's always even if I am outside, I walk around in socks. I'll ruin a pair of socks. (laughs) You're like, well, these are dead now. Yeah. Um. I never, ever, 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 ever used to wear socks. Not even with my shoes. I used to just put baby powder on my shoes instead of wearing socks. Just to keep them from sweating? Yeah, to keep them from sweating or smelling bad. My See, shoes always smell fine. They smell like baby powder, but I didn't like wearing socks. This is all the you should be doing in your foot section on your... You'd, you'd be making... You'd make that house payment that you're trying to do. I'll tell you that. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. Put do Start doing a little subsection. Of, I don't have that many feet people on my OnlyFans. No. Not now. Oh, shut up, Nick. Not now. But if you pr- start promoting that you have that, you provide that service, you'll get an influx of that because it's the weirdest fucking thing. You every time you see those stat breakdowns, like uh, you know how uh, the news every now and then is like, oh, you know, the top most viewed genres on Pornhub or or I something love when like they that. Do that. Pornhub does it every year, and it's Utah always always has the most fucked up stuff. And it's always the same thing. Where it's like incest depressed. porn. It's like no. They just know people will go to it, so they always put like father and not daughter or stepmother and step. If they didn't have to specify that they were step, it would say that obviously because people are disgusting. But like it says step, whatever, stepson, stepdaughter, stepfather, stepmother, like that kind of thing. Like they're so like, oh, everybody likes incest porn. No, they just label it that way. But you go and you watch it. If you don't even label it that, you just think it's a guy and a girl, unless they're they're presenting the scenario of of a family kind of thing like that. Most of the time it's, you just look at it like this could just be any other kind of porn that you're watching. They just put that in the title because they think it would you know, algorithm shit and people just go to it. Um, but yeah, when you see those porn lists and, and that stuff generated out there, feet is always one, even uh, for, for Google, one of the most searched terms is celebrity name feet. It's like at the top. It's wild. How prevalent that particular, kink is yeah because you'll get you'll get um celebrity husband celebrity wife celebrity scandal celebrity nude like those are usually the top searches in there but above all that is an actress's name a singer's name an athlete's name feet feet all the time and then there's the whole wiki feet thing where there's just i have a wiki feet there's wiki feet you have Someone made a page for you? Yeah, this was years ago already. They made that page for me when I was still in LA. But it's funny because I don't have that many pictures of my feet out there. So there's only like four pictures. <laughs> right. Uh, the girl who used to do our show uh, when we started, Lisa, Lisa Correo, comedian, go follow her. She's very good. Because um, she was on a Nickelodeon show. I never remember if it's a Nickelodeon. No, I think it's a Nickelodeon show. Um, there's one scene where I guess like she plays a witch, right? She's the, an aunt of a, of a witch family. And there was one scene like where they're kind of like in heaven, I guess, or something. And she walked around and she uh, she wasn't wearing shoes. And then she put her feet up on a table. And then she had the, she's in like the celebrity wing of this foot thing there. And she was That's telling this one day on like a children's show. And I that she tells us this one night. And I said, why did you do this? She goes, I didn't. People just if you out there. Like anybody will screen cap a nip slip or something yeah, like that. Yeah, of course. But if you're ever a female in any kind of entertainment or music or whatever, and you have just like the inkling of a foot photo somewhere, 
it goes right into this database. It's so fucking bizarre. I know everyone has their thing, but that is really bizarre. How do people know? Are there people just watching? All I guess there's foot people everywhere. So if a foot guy is watching it, his daughter is watching the show, and he happens to be walking by, and he's like, "Oh, that's going right on to Wiki Feet." He just fucking timestamps it and goes back and screenshots it, or does he stop it when his daughter's in the middle of watching and is like, "Hold on, honey, Daddy's got to take a picture of these feet. Don't worry about why. You'll understand when you're older." <sighs> like this, <laughs> it's so weird. Uh. But it also, it has a weird thing, too, because, you know, having a kid, and it's always women who say this, but they love seeing the baby feet. And I go, why is that a thing? You know? They're tiny. The grandpa, like, yeah. The hands. The They're aunts, so the grandmothers. You it's know. like a big person thing, but it's tiny. Yeah. Like, their fingers are like this big. And their like, oh, I want to see. She goes, tiny. look at her little feet. It's like, stop. Ugh. I'm, I'm, not looking so at, I'm not looking at the kid's feet. You know, I got <laughs> so it. Extends your foot phobia extends to your baby's. No, feet. it's not like I don't have any interest in it. Like you know, I gotta change the kid, bathe the kid, um, you know, whatever. That's fine, but I never think of when I'm FaceTiming them or whatever. Like if I'm holding the kid like this and the kid's leaning back a little bit, if the foot comes into the like, see, here's the screen here. So like, if the foot comes up like this a little bit. They all freak out like, oh, look at the little bit of feet. I'm like, why is that a thing? Why, why are you looking at that? I think I, for me, I don't even like kids. You know this. Everyone knows this. I talk about it all the time. Um, I like certain kids that are close to me. That's pretty much it. Right. But to me, I think I just get tripped out because they're so small. They're just tiny little humans. So everything about them is just like a regular sized human, but little. Mm -hmm. And so it always trips me out. So whenever I see their little feet or their little hands, I'm always like, why are they so small? They got tiny little noses. They're just, they're just miniature. You see them dawdling uh, I, along. I get that because you do that with uh, with a pet stuff. Like if you have a tiny little, not their, with their paws, but like, well, no, people do that with the cats online. Mm -hmm. They call, what are they? The, the beans. Beans. Yeah. They're like, oh, look at the little beans or nuggets. Or it's like, mm -hmm. oh. I like beans. So, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, make that it. section on your site and you'll have a whole new revenue stream coming in. We'll we'll see. We'll you'll see. get the house payment and the and the uh the boob thing done in no time. Like, hey guys, we need another 6,000, no, 3,000. I don't know, a lot. 